Hi everybody, Keith Abraham. You know, I talk a lot about pursuing your passion. And I talk a, a lot about this question, when the why becomes clear, the how becomes easy. And so often people say, I just don't know what my purpose is. Now, if you want to understand what your purpose is, I can send you the 10 questions you can ask to clarify what your purpose is moving forward. But I wanted to frame it up a little bit differently to help you understand that it's not just about having a purpose for your life, it's having a purpose for every day, for every week, for every month, for every year. And I love this quote um, from Buckminster Fuller. He said, what is my job on this planet? What is it that needs doing that I know something about? You know, when I first heard that quote, it was like, wow, what is my job on this planet? And you know, my primary job on this planet is to be a great role model for my, for my two girls, uh, to be a great partner for my wife, Christine, and to be a great provider of lifestyle and insights uh, for my family. From a commercial point of view, from a, a business point of view, it's to make a difference in people's lives so that they can pursue what's important, what matters, and what makes a difference to them. And so every day, that's what I focus my time and energy on. Every time I sit down and plan, is it aligned to that purpose? And I think that's where we need to understand what is important to us. You know, it's really, it's, it's a little bit like that story of the three bricklayers. And you might have heard this, you know, the guy walks up to the first bricklayer and says, you know, Hey, mate, what are you doing there? He said, what do you think I'm doing? I'm laying bricks. Get out of my face. Let me get on with my job. You know, you, you, the guy walks up to the second person and says, hey, what are you doing? He says, what are you thinking I'm doing? I'm, I'm building a wall here. If you just give me some space, I can get on with my job. He walks up to the second, uh, the third guy and says, what are you doing here? And the guy wipes his brow and he takes a step back and puts his hand on his hip and stares off in the distance. He said, oh, I'm building a memorial for those uh, fallen soldiers who represented our country that, you know, gave us the freedoms we have today. Do you get they're all the same person? They just looked at it differently? And you need to sometimes take a step back and say, what is my purpose? You know, what is it that I'm being put on this planet to do? And maybe it's not about changing the world or finding a, a cure for a cancer or a, the next, I don't know, Bitcoin solution or whatever it might be. But it's stopping and saying, what's my purpose? What gives me joy and how best do I serve people? What, what do I do that will make a difference in people's lives? Or at least the people who make mean the world to me. See, I just believe that in your life you can either, and especially now, you can either be the master of the unacceptable or you can be the apprentice of the unknown. Hey, there's a lot of chaos and confusion out there at the moment. And now more than ever before, you need to stop and think about what your purpose is. Maybe you don't know what's going to be in store in 12 months' time, but I guarantee you can work out a purpose for today, you can work out a purpose for this week, and you can even work out a purpose for this month. And you can work out a purpose between now and the end of the year. So take some time and think about what is it that you're trying to create? What is it that you're trying to make a difference in? What legacy do you want to achieve? And what focus do you want to have moving forward? So you're moving towards what you want and moving away from what you don't want. Hey, I'm Keith Abraham. Thanks very much for taking some time to listen. Bye now.